Hi guys and dolls, it's Michelle back again with another video. Today we're doing another little acrylic set with a trendsetter from CJP and this one is called Candyland from CJP. It is a beautiful. It is a premix glitter. It's in a light pink base and it's got all colors of iridescent hexes in there. And with glitter you nudge it around the nail instead of painting it kind of because you'll just take it right off the nail learn that one the hard way um i did speed this portion of the video up just a tiny bit uh i did a set this morning i think that one's already up on my channel and the mulberry set and i had such a hard time with application but i got right back on the horse this afternoon it is still january 1st 2021 <laughs> right back on the horse this afternoon and this one went a little bit smoother not still not as smooth as i'd like but a little bit smoother so that i'm just doing a full cover of that gorgeous premix glitter on the pinky again called candyland from cjp the two i'm using today were also gifted to me bless her heart she knows I'm a magpie <laughs> just trying to tuck in the sides make sure they're nice and even I am trying to reduce the need for excessive filing so then on the middle finger oh I guess I'm not done here yet it's, as I was saying before, with the red iguana hand with the armature inside, it's I'm turning my head more than I'm turning the finger because it's kind of hard to see around the curvature of the nail tip. So I'm just trying to make sure I got that right. So then I will come in on the ring finger. First with candy lint. No, no, no. I'm going to do the pointer first. I lied. And this is called Trendsetter. It's like a medium tone pink and it is so pretty. It's really pretty with the Candyland, I think. They're a match made in heaven. In CJP heaven. So full full nail of that one on the pointer. Like I said, I sped it up just a little bit because I it take quite a while, I think. Although, four nails, it took me about, I don't know, about 35 minutes total. Which is not great, but it's not horribly bad for, for me either. I am getting faster at filing the application. Oh, man alive. My application uh, is suffering because I haven't done any real acrylic work for a while. I need to get back at it. So on the two middle nails, I do half on a diagonal of the candy land, and then I do the rest of the nail up near the cuticle, or down near the cuticle, with trendsetter. So just Push it around till you're happy with the placement. And then I just, with the belly of the brush after I get it on the nail, <clears throat> excuse me, with the belly of the brush, which is where all the strength is, I just press it down to help it uh, flatten out a little bit. I'm just going in with a little bit more just to make sure there's no gaps. This one does have full coverage just because it has a light pink base. Which is really nice. You don't have to put anything underneath it. Um, it's still uh, transparent. The pink base is a sheer pink base, but it's so pretty. And on this finger, I will do the same thing. I show you applying the Candyland 
but I don't show you applying the trendsetter to both nails. It's a little bit redundant. I'm just trying to keep the shape of the nail as much as I can. Patting it in on the sides. Trying not to get any uh, acrylic underneath the nail tip either. If you do, if that does happen, you just use an e-file and, and uh, you can get it right out of there. But it's best if you don't. A lot easier if you don't. Clean up can be a hassle, if nothing else. I am loving this glitter. And it just, I said it before and I'll say it again, it pairs so perfectly with Trendsetter. It's perfect. When I swatched these and I looked at them sitting on my, my desk, I said in that video, I think that they would be perfect together and they absolutely are. I love it. So yeah, here going in with Trendsetter. Trying to get the bead down. Then I go in with a little bit around the cuticle and try and keep that nice and neat and tidy. Again, I kind of lost my way with acrylic over the last month or so. The only acrylic I did was on my own nails and Yes, I did have a lot of filing to do on those as well. Um, I do want to get back into it. I love the durability of acrylic as opposed to gel and gel polish. It is, And you can do whatever you can do with gel or gel polish, you can do with acrylic. All kinds of nail art, everything, all that good stuff. It's just acrylic is so much more durable and my work is very hard on my hands on my nails I have them cut down short now because like I said it's very hard on my nails so there's a lot of uh, pressure on my nail tips on my fingertips my well my nail tips because my finger my nails extend beyond my fingertips so I just have to keep them a little bit shorter which is fine I had them a little bit longer for Christmas and, and that was nice too I would love to have my nails just a teeny tiny bit longer but still la vie right so I did uh, file and buff off camera as usual and I'm going in with top coat but I'm only going to partially cure it now all this is in real time I'm only going to partially cure it uh, because I want to add some chrome powder. Wow, this seems really slow now that I was watching the other uh, bit of the video. I'm currently doing the voiceover and now this seems really slow. Seems slow motion. Oh, it's, I love that. I love it with the Candyland and the Trendsetter together. It's gorgeous. I could have done a little bit better job filing. I did, uh, with the clear, when I clear capped, I did make the nails a little bit thick on, on the tip. So I had to do quite a bit of filing to get that to look a little bit thinner. I do not like a thick nail. I do not. It doesn't need to be thick as long as you have your apex in place. It doesn't need to be thick at all. So I'm using a pink uh, chrome powder. And I put it on the first three nails. The pinky ring and middle fingers. And then when I'm putting it away I drop the freaking pot. I almost lost all of it. Now I have very little of this one left. Which is okay because you don't need very much chrome powder. I'm not uh, covering the full nail because I'm not worried about coverage is what I should say I guess. 
And on these two, I'm just covering the Candyland basically. <clears throat> because uh, I'm going to do a little something something on there. I'm not the most artistic, and you guys all know that, but I do try. I do try. So I'm just going to do a few. See the mess up in the left-hand corner? Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to do a few swirlies on there in top coat. Everywhere where I, I put the chrome, obviously. And I had a lot of trouble with this. I, I think because I couldn't really see it. Like, I've done swirlies before, and I did a decent job as, you know, in my opinion, <laughs> I did a decent job. But today wasn't so, so great. I mean, it wasn't the worst ever, but it wasn't great. But like I said, I couldn't see it, and it kind of threw me off. And then I decided to just paint the bottom of the nail, which was, a, again, a mistake because I couldn't see it. It wasn't that well covered. Um, yeah, so I do the same thing with the three three nails just on the bottom half of those two and then that's it no bling n no more glitter no striping nothing just this and I think they came out really pretty even though I struggled a little bit with the swirlies I still still really really like them really really like them one more and then we are at the end of the video so after this I give it a full cure of 60 seconds in the lamp and uh, wipe it with alcohol alcohol because I'm only using a uh, top coat on certain parts of the chrome the alcohol will wipe the rest of it off so you see the nice chrome swirlies on the Candyland glitter and I, I really like the effect You'll see it in a second here. I'm going to clean it off. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. Uh, if you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Share on your social media if you like. Not necessary, but, you know, I'd appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. So, ciao for now, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye!